every single company I run finds a way to have a monster Q4. Every single company that I've run found a way to go into January with maximum momentum. Here's the thing though, with New Year's, Christmas, elections, you name it, Q4 is filled with distractions. So this doesn't happen by accident. You actually have to have a proper go-to-market playbook so that you can finish the year strong and go into the next year with maximum momentum. So in this episode, I'm gonna walk you through the three principles that you absolutely need to know, the exact playbook that I deploy at year end so that you too can finish 2024 strong and go into 2025 with maximum momentum. And when you implement this playbook and follow these principles, you will be able to accelerate your path to that next stage of growth. Intro. What's up, everybody? Welcome to Unstoppable. I'm TK, and on this channel, I help SaaS founders like you grow your SaaS businesses faster with an unstoppable strategy. Now, if you're new to this channel, welcome. I drop an episode every single Sunday with actionable strategies and tactics from the trenches on how to grow your SaaS business faster. So if you're new, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon that way you will get notified every single time I drop an episode with the TK energy. Now, if you're already part of this community, if you're part of my SaaS go-to-market coach, coaching programs, my people, welcome back. It's really awesome to see you over here. This year, I'm helming three companies. I have Unstoppable, which is where I spend the majority of my time. This is where I coach SaaS founders on their go-to-market strategy. I also have Instant. Instant is a content marketing platform. A lot of the things that I teach in my programs, you can implement using Instant. I also run Megaphone. Megaphone is a referral automation program. They're all go-to-market platforms that I run across these three companies as we go into November and December and January, we are gearing up to run our year end playbook. In fact, in two weeks, we've got founders flying in over here to Dallas to hold an entire go-to-market immersive on how they too can revamp their go-to-market strategy to finish this year strong and go into January with momentum. This is what I do all day long. So in this episode, I'm gonna walk you through my step-by-step -step process on how to get the right strategy to finish this year strong and go into 2025 with maximum momentum. So if you're excited to dig in, go ahead and smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Let's dig right into it. So principle number one is you need to understand the basics of a demand funnel. A lot of times people get confused by this, but it's super simple. You need to have your ideal customer profile. These are your ideal customers. They become leads. That means they know about you. Then they enter into your pipeline. They either start a trial or get into a sales conversation, and then you convert them to revenue. Each of these three pieces are distinct stages of the buyer journey. First, they need to know about you. Then they need to trust you and get into your sales conversations or into your product, and then they convert to revenue. For each of these three pieces, there's a key principle and a key playbook that we run to accelerate this during the noisy period of Q4 so that you can finish the year strong and go into 2025 with momentum. With that out of the way, let's go to playbook number one. The first playbook that we focus on are the deals that we already have in pipeline. It can be very natural regardless of what your sales pipeline looks like or what your sales cycle looks like or what your trial phase looks like. Things can slow down during this holiday period. So one of the biggest things that we do is we run a kicker campaign. So principle number one is to actually incentivize and accelerate accelerate the deals in your pipeline already. These are the sales conversations you're already having. These are the trials that you're already running. For these specific group of people, it can be very easy for them to get distracted as the year end approaches. And they'll say, you know what, we'll deal with this in January or we'll deal with it in February. We'll deal with legal later. All these different things can start to come together. So one of the biggest plays that we've run that have always worked across every company that I've ever run, every founder that I've always coached, is to introduce an incentive to finish this year, to close the deal this year. This can come in a couple of different ways. My most favorite way is to offer something extra if they close this year. So we don't go into discounting, we don't like discounting, but what we do offer is like, look, we know we're aligned on what you need, the platform's gonna deliver the value, but if you sign up now, if you close on the deal now, then we'll add two extra months. So that way you have all of next year, plus you can start the implementation in November and December. This is one of the common things we did even back in the tout app days where we incentivized them to get started now, lay the groundwork, but they weren't worried that the timer was running on their 12 month subscription. So this is one of the best ways running some sort of a holiday special with your customers is a great way to actually accelerate the deals that are 
in the pipeline. So instead of hoping and praying that they close on time this year and you hit your Q4 number, you actually incentivize your customers. You give them something of value that doesn't really cost you that much to actually accelerate these deals. I was talking to a SaaS founder. We were doing a strategy session because I'm coaching them inside of my go-to-market program. And one of the key things they've been doing this year is revamping their pricing strategy for 2025. This is part of the work that they're doing in their go-to-market strategy for 2025. And one of the things that, that came out of their pricing strategy is they were severely undercharging and they will be increasing prices in 2025 for new deals. So one of the things that they're going to be doing is for every deal that's in pipe right now that they're working, they'll say, look, you can take your time. We want to make sure we follow the right process. However, if you close now, you will lock in this year's prices because next year the prices are going to be going up. This is also a strategy that I've run and customers actually appreciate it. It's an honest thing. You do raise prices, but you tell them like, look, the prices are going to go up. They haven't gone up yet, but they are most certainly going to go up next year. So if you lock in your price now, you lock in the deal now, you essentially get a better deal. Again, it's a form of a discount, but really what you're doing is increasing the value that the customers are going to get, which incentivizes them to close and win these deals right now. Ultimately, whenever you're looking to accelerate sales cycles, the biggest thing is to reintroduce the messaging to introduce the urgency. These little value kickers are reasons that they'll move faster, but you also have to reinforce it with your value proposition of why they need to actually deploy your platform now, why they need to buy now. And if they wait another day, some things are going to go wrong in the business, which is a big part of your go-to-market strategy. So that's principle number one. That focuses on this bottom part of this triangle. These are deals already in pipe that you're looking to move to revenue. Revenue, you can accelerate them by incentivizing them during this holiday period with a holiday special. The second part of this pipeline and this demand funnel are the people that already know about you. These are your ideal customers that know that you exist. Maybe they're not trialing your product yet. Maybe they have not booked a sales call yet, but they are leads or they are part of your audience on LinkedIn or Twitter or wherever else you're marketing. They know that you exist and at some point they are going to enter into the buying process. One of the biggest things that we've learned to do is to actually accelerate the conversion from a lead, someone that knows about you, to entering your sales process during this holiday period. And this principle is called to inspire new deals now. The holiday period is a great time to actually inspire new deals and compel more action. The holiday discount is a great thing, the holiday special, for deals that are already in pipe. And using the pricing strategy, the prices going up is a great leverage as well. But if they don't know what your prices are, they don't even know what your exact offering is, but they kind of know what you do, you can't use those things. What you can do is highlight your messaging around how doing this now during the holiday period will gain momentum for them going into the next year. This is where you're inspiring the people that have been kind of on the sidelines, they've been considering working with you or considering buying your platform or starting a trial to actually move now. One of the big things that I do even on this channel in my go-to-market programs or even in the software platforms is to highlight why the holiday period is a great time to get a leg up against the competition. So for example, for Megaphone, which is a referral platform, we've been running a campaign telling our leads that, hey, look, we know you want to launch a referral campaign. Guess what? People are very giving during the holidays. They're just in that mood. So now is a great time to score your customers and ask them for referrals. And that is an actual campaign we're running. We're revamping the go-to-market messaging to actually compel more action and inspire more deals now versus a VP of sales saying, you know, let's just deal with this in Q1 when there's more time and there's never more time. But in this kind of scenario, you're giving them a compelling reason to take action now because they already know about you. At some point, they are going to enter into your pipeline and your sales process. But now with the go-to-market messaging you're putting out there, you are actually compelling more action now and inspiring net new deals. This is a dual flank strategy. At this point with these two principles, you are accelerating the current deals that you have by giving them a compelling reason to close in Q4. And at the same time, you're activating the leads that you have and giving them a compelling reason to actually take advantage of the holiday period and get ahead of the curve. Part of this is messaging and part of this is pricing and packaging. Both come in handy when you're looking to finish the year strong. Now, before I go into the third one, which is really what sets you up to have a monster January, let me pause here for a second. Are you starting to see the power in this? Are you starting to see the power of thinking about this year and period, not as something where people are distracted, but as an opportunity to actually serve your customers in a bigger way? 
You're giving them better deals, you're giving them more value, and you're educating them on how to set themselves up for success. Kind of like how I'm doing in this video right here where I'm trying to set you up for success for the year end and go into January with maximum momentum. It's the same thing, as you can see, I practice what I preach. If you're starting to see the power in this, if you're starting to get excited about, oh my God, I can run these plays and I can actually accelerate Q4 and I can go into January with a lot of momentum, can I just get a yes in the comments below? And also smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really likes it when you do that. And honestly, we love it because we put a lot of love into these videos. Also, if you're in this point where you're looking to finish the year strong, you're looking to revamp your go-to-market strategy for 2025 to have your best year ever, you would be a great fit for my SaaS go-to-market coaching program. Inside of this program, I work with you to actually implement these key principles. I give you the step-by-step -step instructions and the coaching to make sure that you're set up for success. You don't have to go anywhere right now. I'll link to it below. I'll tell you more about it at the end of this episode. Let's go to principle number three, where all this comes together. Now, if you're following along at home, this is the part of the demand funnel that gets the most exciting. So you've already done something to accelerate your current deals to close this quarter. You've already done something to take your leads that you have to get them to become sales conversations faster. The next thing you want to do is attract more people from your ideal customer profile to know about you. Now, this is where a lot of founders go wrong. Baby TK made the same mistake. The mistake that I made is that I thought people were distracted. So if they're in the deal, I'll move them along. And if they're leads, I'll try and get them to become pipeline. But that's the end of the game. I can't do much else because it's just so noisy. It turns out that was completely false. So principle number three is to plant seeds for January. The idea here is that people are distracted, but they're also bored. During the holidays, they're stuck with family and sometimes they love their family, sometimes they don't. But at the same time, they are still on their phones in between the different things that they're doing. Maybe they're waiting online trying to get gifts. Maybe they're at Thanksgiving and they don't really like the food or the family, it's kind of uncomfortable, so they're on their phones. People are still consuming content. So I'm a big believer of using this Q4 period to educate our ideal customers in a whole different way. So in addition to the things you're already doing to generate leads, to educate your customers, I'm a big fan of planting additional seeds for January. A Couple of different ways that I've seen work really well is to do content that does best practices from 2024. So you can look at all the things that you've published or shared with your customers or learn from your customers, and you can summarize those and say, here are the biggest things that we've learned in 2024. Another way to do it is to collect the biggest trends that that are coming up for 2025 specific to your ideal customers. You can pull in the biggest trends that exist for say your ideal customers. Let's just say they're in construction, you're in the construction tech industry, you can find the biggest trends and start to educate them about it. This will do two things. One, it's going to attract more leads. And on top of that, in addition to the other principles that you have in play to accelerate leads to more pipeline and pipeline to more deals, you will actually get into a position where you're attracting more leads and you're accelerating them through the whole funnel within the Q4 period. And even for those people that don't take action within a quarter, because if it takes a longer time for them to turn into real pipeline, by the time you enter into January, you've served them so much, they're going to be clamoring to do business with you. So this third principle, one of my best, best implementations of this was at my last company, Taudap. We were an email platform, we were a sales engagement platform. So one of the things we did was a year in review. We built a little app where you could plug in your Gmail or your Outlook or your Salesforce, and it would generate an infographic giving you a year in review of everything you did that year. We looked at number of emails sent, number of emails received, we looked at how much deals you closed, and we gave this beautiful infographic that you could look at and you could share with others. And at the end of that, we upsold them to our sales engagement platform. This drove tremendous demand. In fact, there was one point where we had articles written about us because the thing went viral. So these kind of things where you're serving your ideal customers in creative ways to serve them during the holiday period through best of content, through actual trends, through any additional piece of content where you can educate them about what's ahead for them in 2025 really makes a huge deal to attract attract more leads into your company's brand, into your brand, so that they buy from you either within this quarter or going into January. All right, so those are my three key plays. Let's recap. This is your demand funnel. You have ICP at the top, and then you have the people that know about you, the people that are actively trying to buy from you, 
and the deals that you're closing. For each of these stages, you want to run a specific play so that you finish the year strong and you go into 2025 with as much momentum as possible. The first play that you want to run is you want to incentivize the existing deals and pipeline to close in quarter. This could be additional value you provide. This could be updating them on the pricing changes that are coming up. This could be any sort of additional thing that you can offer that incentivizes them to take action now. And I've seen this work with six-figure deals. I've seen this work with four-figure deals. It doesn't matter what your price point is. People love a great incentive and they will move faster when it's compelling to them when they're getting more value. The second principle is to inspire new deals. So go to your leads and educate them about taking action now, why they can take action now and that will benefit them going into the new year. And principle number three is plant seeds for January. Put content out there that essentially provides best of content or does some sort of a big trends content for 2025 so you can attract more leads from your ICP. You can serve them in a bigger way and then you can accelerate them through the pipeline going into January. So now you know the exact playbook I run at the end of every year for every company that I've ever run, every company that I run now, and every founder that I coach, I teach them these three principles. Now, what you may not know is TK, we're still trying to figure out how to generate enough leads, or we're still figuring out our sales process. We don't even know what our ICP is. Well, these three tactics work well when you have a proper go-to-market strategy in place. If you don't have a proper go-to-market strategy in place, if you don't have enough pipeline, if you don't have enough leads coming in, then these three won't work as well. These are accelerators. So the best thing that you can do during this holiday period is revamp your go-to-market strategy. That's the best thing that you can do so that by the time January hits, you've got these machines running and you're going into it with momentum. You may also be wondering, well, TK, ours is not that great. It's not that great at generating leads. We have some, but not a lot. It's not that great. Our win rates are not that great. Well, in that case, you can put in some of these things into play, but you still need to revamp your go-to-market strategy because you don't want to go into 2025 with that. So if you're in that stage where you actually need to revamp your go-to-market strategy so that you can drive growth and accelerate your path to that next stage of growth, this is why I created my SaaS go-to-market coaching program. It is an incredible program. It is my fifth year running this program. I work with founders one-on-one -on -one inside of this program. And the whole point of the program is to help you go from your current go-to-market strategy to a well-defined and scalable go-to-market strategy that you can execute on. In order to do this, there's three core things that we do inside of the program. The first thing we do is we revamp your ideal customer profile. Everyone thinks they have an ICP, but when they work with me, we follow a 29 point process to really flesh out your ICP so you know exactly what segment of the market you're going after and how you're going to differentiate. Once you have your ICP, then I guide you in creating a manifesto. A manifesto is your messaging. It's your strategic narrative. It's your value proposition. It's how you communicate into the market, who you are, what you do, why they should go with you, and how you're different from the competition. We teach you exactly how to craft this. Once you have these two pieces, you have your go-to-market strategy. Now, strategy is nothing without actual execution. This is where the third pillar comes in. The third pillar is your Broadway show. This is a consistent set of sales and marketing activities that you can run to bring your manifesto to your ICP on a consistent basis so that you can unlock the full demand funnel. You know what your ICP is, you know how to generate leads, you know how to convert them to trials or sales conversations, and you know how to convert them to real revenue. And once you have those pieces in place, then you're able to put in these other tactics, which I give you step-by-step -step instructions on to accelerate your pipeline so you can go build more momentum. It is an incredible program. Now, the better the fit, the better the results. This is why I'm doing this for the fifth year. We wanna make sure that it's the right fit for you. So if you wanna work together, just go to tkcater.com slash GTM. tkcater.com slash GTM, and you'll get all the details in there. Now, if it sounds like it's a fit, what we ask you to do is just book a call with us. On the call, we'll figure out where you are, what your goals are, and if it's the right fit, we're off to the races right away. Typically, with founders that join the program, they are able to revamp their go-to-market strategy within three weeks of joining. They're able to then execute on it, and I support you for an entire year to make sure that you are set up for success, you're able to look at the data, and you're able to scale and iterate. 
Because this program has been so successful, we even have training for founders on once they get that scale, they know exactly who to hire and who to up level, all the way down to actual job descriptions. So it's an incredible program. Just go to tkcater.com slash GTM for all the details. Now, if you got value from this video, please smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It just loves it when you do that. Also, if you have a fellow founder, if you have a team member, if you're part of a Slack group or WhatsApp group of other founders that would get value from this content, please share this with them. It is my mission to serve the SaaS founder community at the highest and greatest level. So we want to help as many SaaS founders as possible. Also, I drop an episode every single Sunday with actionable strategies and tactics from the trenches on how to grow your SaaS business faster. So if you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button and that bell icon that way you'll get notified every single time I drop an episode. And lastly, remember, everyone needs a strategy for their life and their business. When you are with us, yours is going to be unstoppable. I'm TK. And I'll see you in the next episode or inside the SaaS go-to-market coaching program. We're going to be very busy through Q4. So come hang out with us and let's get to work. Take care, everybody.